I'm going to use it just to denoise that image. So when you first open the compositor, uh, there's this render layers node and then a composite. That's this is kind of like the material output in the editor, like the final thing. I don't need this first one because I'm not rendering. I've already rendered it. What I do need is under input to add in, just like the material editor. I'm going to choose an image. And then from here, open up the image that you saved of your light bake. So where can I find that? Oh, I saved it. Okay, so there it is. It loads up uh, nice and grainy, expected. And then there are two nodes I'm going to use to get rid of all the grain on this. And they both start with the D. So if you go to add and you go search, type D. One of them is denoise, probably the most important one. And the other one is called D speckle. And that one will get rid of some of those fireflies I was talking about. Um, now, on each of these nodes, you, they don't need to be set to be HDR. And um, you don't need alpha on this output or anything. But what you'd basically chain these together, take your image, type it into the image of the denoise. Actually, while I do this, also very cool about this thing, there is a node called view, or viewer. If you add a viewer node, it puts this little thing in the middle. And you can plug the output of everything uh, to this. So if I plug in, well, let's do it one at a time. Watch. If I first just plug the image into it, you'll see there it is in the background, like stays back there. Mm -hmm. um, if I then go through the denoiser and pipe that in, here's what denoise will do on its own. Oh, look at that. Got rid of all the crud. Yeah. How great is that? Uh, and then we'll do it again. We'll, we'll chain it through the speckle. That looks like probably not much of a difference, but you'll know in the, out, in the final output, it'll get little fireflies. And then we'll just plug that into the deposit at the end. We're and I would assume like, that these things, like as you're piping through these things, you're going to lose some fine details potentially. So if like there's something, you're, you might have to adjust the settings a bit to yeah, just, tweak these. just to deal with it. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, but, but the defaults kind of seem to do the right thing for, <laughs> for this. If there are any Blender experts out there watching this, they're probably cringing. Like, oh, why didn't you use the <laughs> whatever thing that I don't know about? I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know. Um, but you can do color correction. You can do all kinds of distortions and crazy cool things. Um, yeah, I mean, what's cool is so far everything uh, everything we've done here on stream is just completely unrelated to like this is all just normal Blender stuff. Like you you can use this for any scenes you're creating for any reason in Blender. 